Hi everyone, so time for another video. <clears throat> In this video, I just thought I'd cover um, trusted hosts and policies. Um, quite commonly, I see uh, a few gotchas with um, <clears throat> trusted hosts. Um, local learning isn't um, as well known about unless you're a consultancy firm. But I just thought I'd demonstrate and show you um, what 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 each of them mean and we can then go from there so if i log into my trustworthy 60e and i browse down to system administrators <clears throat> at this moment in time you can see that i've got one user admin um and it's got no two-factor authentication or no trusted hosts associated with it so if I go to my jump box over here and just to demonstrate, I'm coming from two separate public IP addresses, browse to the one interface of my gate, you can see that I'm able to get a login screen on both of them, okay? So <clears throat> what I'm now going to do is I'm going to go back to the appliance and I'm going to configure trusted hosts. Um, I'm going to permit this address and nothing else, but I'm not going to permit this address. So I just go over there now and go into there. So restrict login to trusted hosts and then slash 32. Uh, I'm also going to put in very important. Um, make sure you put in your land your land subnet that you're accessing the appliance on as well. Otherwise, hmm, risk locking yourself out of the appliance. So I'm going to put that in now and configure. So that's in. So the expect the behaviour that I would expect now is when I try to browse to this address from. This machine, it should work. So let's just open up a new tab. Private window. You can see, you can get to the admin panel. But on this one, if I go to this, cannot get to the admin panel because this address, this address here, this dot 203, hasn't been permitted in the trusted host configuration. Now, this is the biggest gotcha that I see. If somebody goes in like this and they do this, configure admin too, and they do not configure local hosts. Super admin, go away. So what you now have is you've got an admin profile that's got trusted host configured, and then you've got an admin two profile that's got no trusted host configured. Now, if you go back to the appliance, if you remember rightly, this this one was working because it's permitted, but this one wasn't. Private window and browse to that. You will see that <clears throat> it now works. Just to val validate, it also works from this one as you would expect. Now, the reason for this is because I've come in here and I've configured this admin too with no local, with no trusted hosts configured. That then opens up the admin panel to the public internet. Regard, regardless of whether or not there's a trusted host configured or not under the admin, you will still be able to publicly access this appliance just simply because of this mixed configuration. And this is something that I see all the time so please make sure that if you do you're going down this method and you're using trusted hosts make sure that you do the correct configuration which would be i'll do it now i'll leave the exist i'll leave um one of the appliances out to demonstrate it working and it not working again the, these two addresses here are just my local LAN subnets. I don't want to lock myself out by by mistake. So now you see that they're both in, the configuration matches. Go back over to the window. Close that one down. Close that one down. So 
coming from 109.111.219.156. Just to show you, that's been added in to both the accounts. So it should work. I'll open up a, a private tab, so make sure there's no caching. You can see I'm able to get to the admin panel. But on this one, I'm coming from 37.191.114.203. Um, and you see that that address hasn't been added into either of the profiles, so I would expect this to not work. Open up another private tab. Browse the address. <clears throat> Nada. Does not work. So that is the correct way of doing trusted hosts. Uh, in, an, in another video, I will configure uh, a different way of doing it known as local in policy. Okay, so that wraps this video up. Just to summarize, if you're configuring trusted hosts, make sure that you're doing either one of the following. You have a single admin account and you have trusted hosts configured. That's absolutely fine. Make sure that you include public IP addresses that you would like to access the appliance and internal IP addresses that you will be accessing the appliance on. I've seen that to uh, catch a few people out. If you've got mul if you're having multiple admin accounts, make sure that all of them have trusted hosts configured and that you never leave uh, one of the admin accounts configured with no trusted hosts because that will then completely override everything that you have done previously and the public internet will be able to access the admin page of your appliance because uh, if you want to get technical, um, it will respond to TCP request. As always, uh, in the comments, let me know what videos you would like to see hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers by 2024. Speak soon in the next video.